Hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, we're just about ready to leave White Orchard. Uh, we have the entire map cleared out. All the things have been done that can be done. Um, and uh, we're just about to meet up with Vesemir in White Orchard to uh, head on out to Vizima and yep, meet up with Yennefer, hopefully. Hey there, old man. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong. My face is still kind of messed up. Trouble brewing. From uh, drinking so many swallows. Um, trouble brewing. Um, I guess then it's time to go. Time we were on our way. I don't really care who they are. Buy but... some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. And we'll try, but I'm not gonna back down from a fight. Hey there, old lady. You've been good to us. Thank you, but we're gonna be on our way now. What happened to the lilies? Oh boy. Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. Now, now, don't presume. I cannot show to Mary in colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? She's obviously drunk. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You hmm. shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? Calm down. If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. tending to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. Oh, here you we don't go. Fear it, you cunt. Don't. Oh no. No, don't. Oh god, she's dead. Let me be. Maybe not. Maybe she's not that strong. Oh, don't start this now. She was clearly flipping out. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Looks like witches steal youngins. That's true. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land. Like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Hmm. And neither are Good, you. Good, what, five, six against two? It won't pack down now. I can Man, my sword looks cool. Why is it all glowing like that? Uh, Alright, this call, this is a case for Igni. Take that, all of you. We just murdered them. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, level four. Goodbye to your head. Hopefully that wasn't someone you knew. Gotta show ya. It's alright. It's over. Leave me be! Why were you hoping her? She's the one to start all of this. Don't like surprise girl. See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. Aw, even you? What's that guy doing? <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. I don't know if my face wasn't messed up from drinking those swallows if they would have said something. Uh oh. That brawl, we didn't start it. Oh, hello there, sumptuous person. Yennefer? I see black clothes. Excuses. Oh yeah. You've not changed a bit. So you came and found us, eh? Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. Mm -hmm. I might have waited until you found me, but oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. Except when it comes to doing your hair. Good to see you. Gerald, I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Do you see any so blood on me? There's blood on, uh... Vesemir. To be honest, this isn't Not on me, though. I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Yeah, that is a good point. Don't there. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Um, why Vizima? We can talk here, 
Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Guzima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Not you? Emperor Emir Va Emrys. Oh. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Emperor, that's that's a big I name. among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, you've met before. Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Hmm. Um. I I wonder what he offered you. Must have been a damn good offer then. Mm-hmm. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. All right. How about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore. Remember? Yeah. yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. Aw. See you soon. Thanks, old man. He didn't die or turn evil. Hooray. Horse. Swift? Can't it's complain. It's Rochi. Ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Hey, more experience. <laughs> this sheriff's outfit is so dumb. See you later, old man. Take care of yourself. Don't go killed. Don't go getting killed, that is. Off to Vizima, I guess. Oh, there's a long cutscene. Carol looks sickly. Had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, <laughs> look at that smirk. Filthy. Just the beginning, but then. But then. Oh, he's talking about the tutorial. Oh, hello. It's it's the wild hunt. Get, uh, he's not imagining it. Okay, that's not good. Oh Jesus. Okay, they've caught up. Quickly, you're you're done for. And so are you. Jeez, those horses are big and they're fast. I guess this is the reason for the escort, just to try and slow them down in case this happens. What do we do? Oh. Bridge. They gotta destroy the bridge. Yeah, use your magic. Lightning bolt. Yeah, I hope to suck on that. Can't get across that. You're not ghosts. How big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Hmm. Jeez. Those guys. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Uh huh. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Yep, we saw that already. So it does update you in case that intro changes. Oh, in the bath again. In chapter Chapter two. Also starting in a bath. I'm sure these ladies are enjoying the view. Could use a bath though, that feels good. Yup, oh, it's nice censorship. Hello, nobles. You guys aren't the emperor. For sure not. I was enjoying that. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. Hmm. What now? In that chair. I'm nice and shiny. Edwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Uh, 
is there something wrong with my beard? I, I kind of like wrong it. with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Oh, I got lice. Tilt your Jeez. head back, please. And sit still. Mm. And prepare to answer some questions. That's not the emperor. General, I, I am not certain this is the oh, appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Boris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt staring at him. Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant detail. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Um... I don't know. I... I killed him? Voltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to you? An assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? Um, uh, I don't know. I went with Vernon Roche. I got sure. out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche, commander of the Blue Stripes. And A murderer of non humans. We know this gentleman well, don't you? You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Uh... I had to say of Triss. Sure. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. Uh, I'm halfway done. I find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tadzel to bits. Uh, she escaped. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. Ah, oh, man, I wish I knew sure the paperwork's in order now. Knew what all this well, was about. National interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Uh, yeah, that alliance is dead, well, sure. That alliance has been dissolved, irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agent some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here, um, here. With these formalities seen to... I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. 
This is a weird interaction. I'm losing my beard though, and I'm not happy about it. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tail coat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Hmm. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay. So this one's got some fancy, like, embroidery or whatever. This one's vertical lines. It looks kind of cottony. And this one is kind of a mix of both. I like this one. Oh. Um. Yeah. That one. This might come as news to the gentleman. But the towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. All right, all right. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Does it matter? Sure. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Um, I, I don't know. There may be some, like, nuance away from away please watch leg extended hand flat head down chin to chest the gentleman will rehearse uh this one Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Northlings. Come with me. What? All right. Do your do your worst. The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Hello, members of the court. That might be the emperor back there. Yep. He didn't bow right. You're not bowing right. Um, yeah, I'll bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian nomen vatgen favot. Mm-hmm. I thought you bowed before no man. I recognize that voice. Didn't That's Charles. Disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. That's Charles Dance. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So, silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned, and she's oh, in God. danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You sure? You will find her and bring her to me. Uh, yeah, this is Charles Dance. This is um, you know, oh. What's his name? Tywin uh, Lannister from Game of Thrones. I actually really like the character, so I, I default like him. <laughs> uh, she's back. You sure? You sure. Siri left. Went far, far away. Do 
you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Hmm. I need information. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. So, I was training the Emperor's daughter as a witcher. That's interesting. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. What the hell? Open that door with the force. What are you guys doing over there? Mining in the middle of the Grand Hall? Yeah, speaking all sorts of foreign language here. He's going through the courtyard, nice little garden over here. Get used to this. One force move and you will regret it. I don't even have my sword. Big talk from someone who's completely armored. Mm -hmm. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants guild. Hey there, Yen. Why are we here? That tunic. You look positively smashing. You want to smash me? <sighs> Dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm -hmm. Siri? It seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Back from where? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Oh. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Yeah. Um, so they are our agents? How oh, shoot. That? I hit the wrong button. Sorry. Grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. Yeah. Good 10, A great 12. deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. Well, me either. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. That wasn't well, awkward. Let's focus on Siri, all right? Well, so right about that. All right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. 
to the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where even? What do they? What do they want from Siri? What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. All I right. As much as you do. It must be about it's her blood. Just a question. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I. I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. I've heard that name before. What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. A magic I explosion. This had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Oh, uh, why didn't you contact me? One it's been years, right? Go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? Mm. That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Oh. That's there's some history there. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Oh. I should be waiting. Be careful. Alright, and I think that'll do it. Uh, thank you all for joining me in this episode of the lots of cutscenes. Oh, there, there she goes. Taking some books with her, I guess. That's neat. It's for, uh, maybe you piled up the books. The books didn't go with her, I guess. Well, <laughs> anyway, um, I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.